China's arms industry continues to roll out its latest and, in some cases, long-anticipated land, air, and sea weapon systems. At the Zhuhai Air Show in South China, the People's Liberation Army Navy unveiled what may be the most sophisticated flanker variant yet, in either Russia or China, the J-15 DEW. This newest evolution of the 4.5 generation, carrier-capable fighter only started joining the ranks of China's naval aviation days ago, marking a significant step forward in the country's carrier-based electronic warfare capabilities. Sources in China from the scene have sent the first pictures of the fully completed fighter. The aircraft in the image is identified as the Shenyang J-15D, an electronic warfare EW, variant of China's J-15 multirole fighter. Part of China's carrier-based fleet, the J-15D is designed for specialized electronic warfare roles, including electronic attack and suppression of enemy air defenses seed. Let's dive into the design and functionality of this aircraft, exploring the specific features that underscore its unique capabilities. The J-15D's airframe is based on the J-15, itself a derivative of the Russian Su-33 carrier-based fighter, adapted for China's aircraft carriers. The J-15D shares the large, powerful airframe of the Su-33, providing ample space for EW equipment and an extensive payload of electronic pods and specialized weaponry. The aircraft features twin vertical stabilizers and a broad wingspan, characteristics that aid in stability during carrier landings and low-speed flight. This design contributes to a high lift coefficient, crucial for carrier operations, where the takeoff and landing distances are limited. The J-15D's extended and reinforced wings are also well suited for carrying external electronic warfare pods and antennas, which are critical for the aircraft's EW mission profile. A standout feature distinguishing the J-15D from the standard J-15 is the removal of an internal cannon, replaced by noticeable external pods and antenna fairings on the wingtips and fuselage. These additions house advanced EW systems designed for radar jamming, signal interception, and disruption of enemy communications. The J-15 DEW systems are likely built for both defensive and offensive jamming capabilities. Defensive jamming protects the aircraft from radar-guided missiles, while offensive jamming allows the J-15D to disable or interfere with enemy radar and communication systems from a standoff distance, an essential capability for seed missions. The various pod placements on the wingtips and along the fuselage suggest the J-15D uses a range of jamming frequencies to effectively counter multiple radar systems. These pods are likely modular, meaning the aircraft can be equipped for specific mission needs, whether for escort jamming, protecting other aircraft, or standoff jamming, disrupting enemy radar installations. The J-15D is a two-seater with the second crew member dedicated to operating the electronic warfare systems. This additional operator is essential, as the EW role demands managing complex systems in real-time, which would be challenging for a single pilot handling both flight and EW responsibilities. When it comes to weapons and payload configuration, the J-15D differs from traditional multi-role fighters as it's optimized for carrying EU pods and specialized munitions instead of a full array of air-to-air -air and air-to-ground weapons. The pylons are adapted to carry a variety of EW pods and anti-radiation missiles ARM, like the Chinese-made LD-10 ARM, which is designed to track and destroy enemy radar installations. The J-15D is powered by twin engines, most likely advanced variants of the WS-10 engines used in the J-11 and J-15 fighters are possibly the Russian AL-31 engines. These engines provide ample thrust, enabling the J-15D to carry heavy EW equipment and munitions without a significant loss in performance. The range is a critical factor for EW and SEED platforms, as they often operate on the edges of contested airspace. The J-15D's fuel capacity, supplemented by potential external fuel tanks, would give it the endurance needed for long-range operations or extended loiter times while supporting a strike group. 